Hello everyone, welcome to another day of March Lead Code Challenge and today's question is Russian doll envelopes. In this question, we are given a 2D array where each element specifies the dimensions of an envelope representing the width and the height of that envelope. There is a rule that is specified that one envelope can fit into another if and only if the width and the height of one envelope is greater than the width and height of another envelope. So please keep a note of this point and we will cater to it in the presentation. Also, we need to return the maximum number of envelopes that can be put into one another. So without much ado, let's move on to the presentation. Let me just start the slideshow and I have depicted the Russian dolls here. I think we all have seen these dolls in our childhood days and let's get started. So even before starting the actual algorithm for this let me just take a step back and introduce you to the longest increasing sequence problem in i hope you may have done such problems in the past you may not have uh, but don't worry i'll explain uh, this problem first and then we'll move on to the russian doll problem in this problem we are given an array and we need to count the length of the longest increasing sequence Let's understand the approach by a very simple example. It's not a very tough problem. It's one of the typical problems of dynamic programming. We have 1, 3, 2 and 4. And what is the length of the longest increasing sequence? Please note that in, in this, the sequence is asked not the substring or the... So what would be the longest increasing subsequence in this problem? It would be 1, 3 and 4. And how we will solve it? We'll solve it by dynamic programming approach. We'll assign an array and we'll initialize the dp array with one because independently if you treat them as independent uh, elements then the longest increasing subsequence would definitely be of length one for example if we have 10 9 and 8 then the length of longest increasing subsequence is one if you can treat any of them independently the length would be one so how will you solve this problem we'll take two loops one starting from i equals to zero going up till the length and then we'll have another loop starting from the 0th index going up till i. So let's start the iteration and I'll tell you, uh, I'll explain the db formula that I have stated here. So i is 0 in this case. So a j would be less than i, which won't be the case. And we will skip to the next, next, next iteration. Then i becomes 1. So i comes here and j would be equal to 0 array element of i is 3 and element of j is 1 so this condition is satisfied and dp of uh, 1 this index would be equal to dp of uh, 1 which is 1 itself comma dp of j plus 1 because you actually found one right comparison the valid comparison because 3 is greater than 1 so 3 uh, 3 is greater than 1 that is a valid uh, increasing sequence so we'll update the value whatever the value is stored at dp of j plus 1 so dp of j in this case is dp of 0 plus 1 so dp of 0 is 1 and 1 plus 1 becomes 2 so this value becomes 2 and we'll move on to the next iteration and what is the sequence so far it is 1 comma 3 I'm writing the sequence as well and next we have 2 we move on to the next iteration to i comes here and let's start the iteration uh, dp of uh, j is less than uh, dp of i uh, because 1 is uh, less than 2 which makes absolute sense so this formula is again true so dp of 2 would be equal to dp of 2 equal to math dot max uh, dp of 2 which is 1 comma dp of 0 plus 1 so that's again 2 so we'll update this value to 2 and the sequence is something like this 1 comma 2 and next we have next iteration of j and j is dp of j is 3 and dp of i is 2 which doesn't satisfy this equation so we will reject that case and move for the next iteration so i becomes i goes to the next value and let's start the iteration dp of j is 0 uh, 4 is greater than 1 which makes absolute sense so this formula is again applied 
and we will have 1 comma 1 plus 1 which is again 2 so dp of 3 is maximum of these two values which becomes 2 so this is the first value uh, 2 comma 1 which is 2 so and the sequence is 1 comma 4 let's move ahead and then we have i move to the next position this position and here uh, the, again the condition is satisfied 4 is greater than 3 so we will use the, this formula again so there here the value becomes 2 comma dp of 1 uh, dp of j that is 1 that is 2 so 2 plus 1 becomes 3 so maximum of these values is 3 so this gets updated to 3 and the sequence is something like this 1 comma 3 comma 4 and let's move on to the next iteration we get j becomes uh, 2 and it points to the second position uh, which is 2 itself and again this condition is satisfied because 4 is greater than 2 so we'll use this formula and here we'll apply maximum of 3 comma 2 plus 1 which is again 3 so max of 3 is 3 so this value remains same and the other sequence could be 1 comma 2 comma 4 so there are two sequence that are possible 1 comma 3 comma 4 and 1 comma 2 comma 4 and the length is maximum across the complete dp which is 3 in this case sorry i missed uh, this valid sequence as well but as we went through the example uh, we investigated how this could be another possible answer we will extend the same approach for solving the russian doll problem and the time complexity of this approach is order of n square and the space complexity is order of n so let's move on to the russian doll problem so we have this array 5, 4, 6, 4, 6, 7 and 2, 3. The first thing that we are going to do, we will sort this array on the basis of the width or the height, whatever you want to take it. And we will apply the same rules as we discussed in longest increasing sequence and get our answer. The only condition that changes is that we need to in, take care of the width as well as the height. So let's start the iteration this points initialize the complete array to the to one because independently uh, if you treat all of them as independent envelopes the dp side the dp value longest length would be one and let's start the iteration so i is at this position i is at this position so uh, j is zero itself so it's not greater so it uh, it will remain as one itself then i move to the next index i becomes one and j is zero so let's compare the width and the height as well so 5 is greater than 2 and 4 is greater than 3 the condition is satisfied the dp condition would be the same dp of this value plus 1 so this would be 1 maximum of 1 plus 1 plus 1 1 comma 1 plus 1 the so max of this would be 1 comma 2 and the value gets updated to 2 so this gets updated to 2 awesome like I already stated the answer here, def, so this gets updated to do that. And let's move on to the next iteration. Then we have i points to here. And let's start the iteration for j. So here 6 is greater than 2, 4 is greater than 3. The value will be updated uh, to 1 plus 1 comma 1. So the, the condition is 1 comma 1 plus 1, which is again max would be 2. So this becomes 2 and let's continue the iteration here, uh, we, here now we'll come to this index and although 6 is greater than 5 4 is not greater than 4 the condition is false reject next move on to the next iteration i points to this position and let's I, start the iteration for j j is here 6 is greater than 2 7 is greater than 3 awesome the value gets updated by 1 plus 1 max of these two values is 2 so this gets updated to 2 let's move on to the next iteration we get 5 comma 4 and 6 comma 7 these are the two contenders and 6 is greater than 5 7 is greater than 4 awesome let's update the value so now the two contenders are the value of 
this the dp of this value is 2 so 2 plus 1 since the condition is satisfied the max of these two values would be 3 so you get 3 here let's move on to the next iteration for j here 6 is equal to this 6 the condition is not satisfied reject the case the maximum value across this dp is 3 so the answer is 3 the time complexity for this approach would be order of n square and the space complexity would be order of n where n are the number of envelopes that are given in the 2d array so without much ado let's move on to the coding part so let's initialize the variable answer variable max envelopes equals to 1 that would be for sure on our answer it would be like the minimum value would be 1 and let's sort those envelopes on the basis of width or height whatever you want to take and that would be envelopes i'll pass envelopes and a comma b and i'll sort them on the basis of width and let's initialize the dp array and length of the dp array would be envelopes dot length and let's start the iteration i equals to zero i is less than len as i told you in the lic problem i goes from zero up till length where length is not included and let's write it for the j index j starts from zero goes up till i j i not included and even before that let's fill the dp array with one awesome and let's write the condition if envelopes of i comma zero is greater than envelopes of j comma zero one comparison for the width one for the height the first index the first value is the width and the second one is the height i have written it for the width and now i'm writing it for the height part if that condition this condition is true that means we found one possible increasing sequence and we'll update the dp to max dot max dp of i comma dp of j plus one awesome and once i have done that i'll again keep a check math max envelopes would be math dot max of dp of i and in the end i'll simply return max envelopes let's try this out I made a mistake here. Looks good and let me just submit it. Accepted. What is the time complexity of this approach? Order of n square and space complexity is order of n. Where n signifies the number of envelopes thanks for watching the video hope you enjoyed it